Welcome to Rhyme Time 2. Today we're looking at page 6. Read and understand. I can't find my watch. Let's look at this exercise in the grammar workbook. I can't find my watch. Let's look for it. Here it is. I can't find my socks. Let's look for them. Here they are. What do you think is different about the two examples? The first one talks about one watch. The second one talks about socks, more than one. So in the first example, instead of saying watch, we said it. And in the second example, instead of saying socks, we said them. Let's look at some examples and try to fill in the blanks. I'll do the first one for you. Number one. I can't find my shoes. Let's look for them. Here they are. When we're talking about more than one, we can say them or the. Therefore, we can say, I can't find my shoes. Let's look for them. Here they are. Let's look at a second example together. I can't find my bag. How many bags are we talking about? We're talking about one bag. And so we should say, what do you think we should say? If we're talking about one bag, we can say, let's look for it. So let's try that again. I can't find my bag. Let's look for it. Here it is. Now you try the next example on your own. I'll read and you try to fill in the blanks. He can't find his football. Let's look for it. Here it is. She can't find her book. How many are we talking about? Are we talking about one book? Or are we talking about more than one book? Read the sentence again. She can't find her book. We're talking about one book. So we should say, let's look for it. Here it is. We can't find our cat. Let's look for it. Here it is. They can't find their cats. Are we talking about one cat or more than one cat? We're talking about more than one cat. So we should say, they can't find their cats. Let's look for them. Here they are. That's it for today's lesson. See you again soon. Bye.